Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and today I wanted to do an unboxing and overview of uh, apparently this new Icon torque wrench. This is a flex head half inch drive, and I actually found that out the hard way. And just uh, what I want to say before I get into anything, I'm not going to do like a scientific test. I don't have the equipment to do like accuracy testing, so I'm just going to have to go off the paper within. I know other people have done that, so just to let you know if they can't handle that, then this won't be the video. I just want to take it out and show you what it looks like, and just if anything else, at least inform you that they actually sell this in a flex head. So like they had the uh, Icon coupon, and I've been wanting the half-inch torque wrench for a while, and uh, it's always sold out when they have a coupon. So this was on there in the same spot with the old half-inches, and I noticed the box was bigger and a little bit heavier, and then I wondered why my order costs more. I thought maybe the coupon didn't take off, but it turns out that uh, this is new, and you can see it's $40 more, which I don't think it's worth $40 just for the flex head but I don't want to take it back really, so hopefully this video at least can serve the purpose of making this. This one's actually counterclockwise, I didn't know that they were, 90 tooth. And you can see all the specs here. It's a little bit longer, and this is the one I wanted, but again, I don't even know if they had any in stock. Could get it online, but then you have to pay the shipping. I'd rather just get it in person. Uh, this one's lighter, it's a little shorter, but it's the same torque range, same accuracy, and I mean you can just do the research on your own. This is the one I'll compare, I have this, so this video hopefully I can at least compare to this one, which obviously the icon is going to be better than that junk, but the Pittsburgh one actually worked fine for me. So that one's 4% clockwise, no counterclockwise, and then these are some other options. I had thought about getting this one in the past. Uh, where the specs are. Just real quick to show you the different options. And the cobalt. That one was tested to be pretty good, but I think that's really enough of that. If you want to do any more, you can just look up on the website. And now I've already taken it out of the box because I wanted to make sure nothing was like broken or like way out of whack. So, and it does have a lifetime guarantee, but it's not on the calibration. But anything, I guess, with the paw or the two teeth on or anything fail. I really think that's, you don't really need to see that. One difference, and this is actually an improvement, is this blow mold, mold case is significantly smaller. I never owned the other icon that was the uh, non-flex head, but I believe it was bigger. And I guess if you're like a garage diva, this one has a little plastic clear piece you can see in it. Kind of a gimmick, but I, I don't know, I guess maybe if you have multiple torque wrenches that are the same size. If you want to keep it in the case, you'd know which one it is. But you can just see it's just a slimmer uh, blow mold case, which is nice. I might go over that. I don't know how in-depth I really need to go. If you need a torque wrench, you kind of already know all this stuff. But it's got a good bit of weight to it. And again, it is a little bit heavier than the non-flex head. So, and that's all you get, just 15 degrees, which I think is probably good because uh, I was thinking like if it would just like go 90 or something, whenever you're trying to torque, it might want to move on you. I don't know if, if it did move too much, it might affect your torque value, but I mean, it's this is really stiff and that's all. I mean, for me, I'm just using this to uh, torque my lug nuts. So this is definitely overkill, but I can see maybe if you're doing some suspension work. I don't know about working on engines, maybe, but I can see maybe this would help out. For me, it might actually work because normally like this old wrench, it, my knuckles would be too close to the fender, so I had to use an extension. So maybe now if I do it like that, that might be just enough that I can save myself a step, but you paid 40 more dollars for it, so over the regular model. 
And here's just the generic Pittsburgh one that you can get with, for $10 with the coupon. I've had it for a couple of years. So you can see a big size difference. Now again, if you want the exact specs, you can just look them up on the website. But so that's about 17 and three quarters, 24 and three quarters, a little less. So about seven inches longer. And aside from this one just being smaller and cheaper, not as well made, the main reason I just don't like this at all, even just to torque down tires. Now this turns fairly easy, even though it does tighten up like pretty much all of them do. But these just don't work, like they'll come loose sometimes. Sometimes the threads get caught up. And, but I mean, it, it, it's okay. And it does have this switch, but it doesn't do counterclockwise. So I guess, unless you wanted to like break a lug nut or something, but they say you're not supposed to. So the Icon you have foot pounds and newton meters i think this is i mean this is way nicer but i think pretty much all good torque wrenches have this i guess if you want to save your carpal tunnel the pain you could probably just do it this way too and so this just goes in come on newton meters goes in 10 pound increments and then the ring adjusts per pound and one thing if I can get the glare off it won't stop in between it, it locks which is nice so which is so if you it won't stop in between I guess it will but it doesn't lock in place and so that way you can get the exact number you want it's kind of nice and you can see this is just two Torx screws, so this would be fairly easy to take apart if you needed to, but I don't think I need to. At least it's not a snap ring. If you're off and on, you can see some oil, so it was pretty well oiled. So there's even a good bit of oil in that. So, I mean, it sounds good compared to, I think this was a 36 tooth, but I'm not sure, I man. Obviously doesn't sound near as good as the Icon. I don't really think there's anything that relevant here, but. And then this is my calibration certificate. Now how true that is, I mean, you would assume that this would be accurate for every one, but so even though I can't do a test, this is what the supposed test for my serial number is. And then just as a heads up, I have the uh, Harbor Freight US General uh, five drawer tool cart. Unfortunately, this doesn't fit in it. Uh, I can maybe do a shot of that. I'm not sure if maybe just the rent itself would fit, but I know for a fact with the case, it doesn't. So with the case, we're right at 28 inches by, if you count the hinge that's sticking out, maybe four deep. So the way I'd like to store this would be in just one of these drawers but it's probably a good three or four inches it's over to where this one fit in here perfect that's about the only advantage of this would be the smaller size now without the case you can just barely so i guess you could if you don't want to use the case or if you wanted to put it in angled then you'd have plenty of room but that's really not the way i want to do it and since they give you that case, I really would like to make use of it instead of just leaving it loose like that. Now, I'm not sure how good of an angle here, but it actually does fit. I'm not gonna put it like that. 
but if you don't want to use the case you do have enough room even with the because they have to have those little areas blocked off for the struts to close down on but if you didn't want to use the case and if I took this out you can just lay it like that so you could fit it there if you wanted to not use the case but with the case the case will fit but again it goes over where these spots are that they allow the the struts hit it so there really wouldn't be any way to get around that but I think what I'll have to do is just lay it up top here now it's so I still have my drawers the this that lock thing disabled so I can still get in and out of them with the lid closed and I'll just have to move it out of the way if I want to open the lid up and you could probably put it in this uh, little just tray area down there but I already have stuff down there so for me that's just uh, if you have the tool card just kind of know either don't use the case or you have to find somewhere else to put it I just don't really know how to test this since it's already uh, everything's torqued I could undo a lug nut but I just want to see if it clicks the same click what you'd expect nothing special and then I'll just go without the extension and first off it's not near as long so it just makes it you have to use more force to get the same amount of torque so that's one reason why I want the bigger one but for the closer lug nuts here yeah, my hand hits right on this uh, little mud flap I put on so I mean, you can still do it, but so let's get the same one I torqued. They're both at 90. This one has a stronger click, but you have to use so much more force. I know I'm not doing it right. You know, I'm trying to kind of stay out of the way of the camera, so I don't want to put my arm down there. But So normally I'd put this extension on, and now I have more room. Now I'm way out here. You can see this one sounds a little bit cheaper too. So I don't know if you can see without the uh, extension on. And it's kind of hard to do everything with the camera being right in my face. But I'm pretty much right up against it on these inner lug nuts. Closer to the fender. But... I put this extension on then I have enough room you can see hopefully I don't know there's so much glare on the screen I'm just guessing at this point but, and it makes a lot more noise and it takes way more force being shorter compared to this one with uh, no extension uh, I'm right up on it but again get that 15 degrees and that gives me plenty of room here and again, I know I'm not using proper form but it's kind of hard to do I'll try and film at the same time but uh, this way it works just perfect and it doesn't take near as much force since you got that longer length to work with so I mean the fact that it has a flex that works great for me but I don't think that's a good enough reason to justify buying this just to do lug nuts but you can see it works and the flex that does help me but I don't know if I would endorse it for that, but uh, it does work. And it's a good torque wrench so far. It's way better than the Pittsburgh, as you'd expect. I really don't think there's much else to show. So hopefully, at least lets you know that they have this product now. And maybe you can find some use for it. Probably something better than this. But thanks for watching and you see me in the next one. Have a good one.